It's a phrase thrown around by health officials and even some of us in the media when we're talking about COVID-19 and vaccines, herd immunity. But what does it really mean? Tonight, Paige Ellenberger is getting some answers. Now that COVID-19 vaccines are up for grabs for any adult in the Lone Star State, we're inching toward that herd immunity we all hear so much about. But what exactly does that mean? It just means that enough people in the community have either experienced the disease, whether it's a virus or bacteria, whatever it is, or they've received a vaccination that if they were exposed, they would not receive that infection. Karen Parcell with Advent Health of Central Texas says 75 to 80% of the community needs to get the shot to reach herd immunity. With the combination of getting vaccinated and then practicing all of our social distancing and masking protocols, we should be able to really flatten the curve and eliminate this as something that's really so burdensome to our, our society. With 10 million doses already administered in Texas, experts say it's going to take all of us who can get one to do so. We have to kind of protect each other. And that's the most important thing about everybody getting their vaccines. But is this a realistic expectation with new strains of the virus popping up? Mercioski says yes. The more and more and more of us who are immune uh, to COVID-19, even the originals, is going to be able to slow down the other ones. And if you're still hesitant to get your vaccine, Purcell says to not be worried, but to talk with your health care provider. This has been some of the highest um, rate of industry for evolving vaccination. We've never produced vaccines this fast. But they were also really well studied. Both experts advise to continue masking up and practicing CDC guidelines, even if we reach herd immunity. In Bell County, Paige Ellenberger, 25 News.